Our John Deere 7200 needs a little work. For a little while now, we've been having some trouble getting it to crank. You may have to turn the key 20 to 30 times and it'll finally crank, but it's getting progressively worse and worse. So we're tearing it apart and trying to narrow down what the problem is. First thing that we did, we put two new batteries on it. John Deere batteries didn't help the problem at all. Um, and it seems to be worse when it's cold outside. When it's warm, you may have to turn the key two or three times, but it'll crank. We thought maybe a clutch switch, you know, it seems to be electronic because it does not drag when you're trying to crank. It's not like a starter's drag. So we've been kind of uh, chasing every lead that we know. So we started with the basics. We did the batteries. Uh, we've cleaned all the terminals like three times. It hasn't helped any. Uh, my dad had a similar problem with his, he has a John Deere 6300 and it was the solenoid on the starter was the problem with his or it has been so far after he's replaced it. So first thing it is, you know, after the batteries didn't work, order the solenoid. But in doing a lot of checking, we kind of, I have found a block, they call it a, a relay. Call it a relay block, and the way we found it was just tracing the wires. So this is a power wire coming from the battery. It goes to this terminal block with a few jumpers off of it, which then goes to what you would, a relay, solenoid, whatever you want to call it here, before the alternator. And we have power incoming, but we have traced this white wire to the starter. And what kind of threw me for a loop is, if you test this as it is, this test is a ground. We have narrowed it down. We think that that is possibly the problem. So this is the starting circuit relay. There's the part number, RE164448. We don't know that's going to fix it, so y'all are going to go along with us and, and we'll, we'll either, uh, figure out if something else or we'll be happy because we've been chasing this problem for a while but if you turn the key that's where it clicks so I'll turn the key and let you put the camera up there and see if you can come just so you know our degree of mechanicing involves being part swappers so if that doesn't work we're gonna swap something else until it hopefully does work so Good thing Eric's got deep pockets. Deep pockets, $23 now. I had to ask my wife for that, so. So the first thing we're gonna try to see uh, if we can narrow down this problem is we're gonna jump the solenoid. You can see right here, we've removed a few things already. So this is our solenoid here. This is our starter. You got power coming in. There's a ground there. What we're gonna do is basically bypass that solenoid. So Eric's got a jumper wire. That's your positive terminal from the battery, straight from the battery. This is positive terminal. This is the ground terminal, straight from the battery. This is the white wire from the other side on the relay that we're going to change out. So this is actually sending a signal to the solenoid once you turn the switch to crank, but we're not getting power on this wire. We checked the wire when we turn the switch on, when we turn it over to try to crank the tractor, we never get power on this wire. So for this starter to engage, we've got to get power on that side. Well, since we have power right here, kids don't try this at home, but since we have power right here, we're gonna jump to from the starter to see if it'll engage. If it engages the starter, and we know, number one, it's not a starter issue, which we don't think we do have because it's dragging. And number two, we'll start to figure out that we're just not getting power on that wire. And if you're trying this, we're just barely bumping it. We're not trying to crank the tractor. No. All we're trying to do to see if that starter will spin. And if it does spin, you let off of it right away. So he's just turning the switch on. If this is right, what should happen is when I touch this terminal, you should hear the starter kick over. 
See that flywheel turning? So it's trying to crank. Which tells us then that we're not getting power there. So we're going to change that block out over there if this doesn't work. We're going to take a nap. Basically what we think is happening, since that's our power coming in, if you turn the switch on, we get 10 and a half volts on the bottom wire. We never get anything on the top wire, which is acting like a ground. But like I said, we still have this hook, so anything can, uh, can show that. But what we think is this is bad, and when we turn the key, it's not energizing to send power through to the power wire to let the solenoid crank the starter or turn the starter to crank the tractor. So we're hoping we change this block out. First and foremost, we're going to unhook the battery so that we don't short anything out, of course. And then we're going to try to change this block. And right before we turn the key, we're going to say about two minutes worth of prayers and then we're going to crank. Hopefully. First things first, we unhook the positive terminals of the battery. That way we don't have any juice any surprises we'll say you have to take two nuts to get this cover off and then you have to take two to get the rest the mount loose. the cover is a little weird because yes. there's a wire that goes in the side of it yeah and that engineer so you can't fully take the cover off he's probably on the beach and he designed that come on man. that all you got really i'm guessing he probably works for ferguson now Hey, by the way, they don't pay us to say this, but these little Milwaukee lights, magnetic, turns, it's bright, three different modes, and then this you got up here, that's where it's at. Rechargeable, so I'm a fan so far. Hey, another cool thing, these little ULSA tools, magnetic socket trays are really nice. Not only, you know, I usually keep a little tray here, magnetic, but when you got some extra spots, keep up with your stuff. But keep this in a service truck. They stick to anything, they keep the sockets in. Um, I'm a fan of good tools and, and I like those right there. So, I don't know if, I'm assuming it does, you can only put this on one way. Probably that engineer that's on the beach did this for a reason. Because then it's got to hook back up the same way, so. That thing's got to wash it around. you think came up with hickey doodle? I think you did. You ever heard of hickey doodle? What'd you do it? No. You're hollering about putting it in your little magnetic thing. Somebody out there would appreciate it. Hickey do. There you go. There's a bird's eye view. Explain that to me. That's what I thought. Probably hard to tell in the video, but he's unhooking the incoming hot wire, and that's the one that we were talking about that goes through a little hole in the cover. So you have to disconnect it before you can actually remove the cover completely. If the mechanics watching this are probably just screaming at us right there. 
think. Probably. I don't know if it's a John Deere mechanic. They're probably learning something. It's a very valid point. <laughs> They're searching YouTube as well. <laughs> We say that, but this tractor may not crank in a few minutes. So. <laughs> That's what I'm sitting here thinking, like, uh oh. How awkward is it going to be when this thing doesn't crank? We'll just scrap the video. Just, if it doesn't crank, just give me a minute, okay? I'm going to need to do some pacing. It's setting, it feels like one of those setups for a good disappointment though, you mm -hmm. know, you just, you just think you know. Kind of like the kids watching the forecast of the snow. Yeah, you just know what's wrong with it and you're making uh, John Deere mechanic jokes and the next thing you know, we're calling a John Deere mechanic to see if he has any clue of what might be wrong with this tractor. My handy dandy magnetic tray. Still holding on. You gotta hold your tongue right for this part. What age is it when eyes usually go bad? 37. Well, you hit the nail on the head with that one. So on this point, let me tell you what we do. First we pray. Next we let Ben try to crank it because he's the luckiest person I've ever seen in my life. If I get in there, it's not going to crank. So you do the honors. He says that, but around here we call it lover and luck because he's got it. Did you pray? Boy. I'm nervous. Ready? I feel like a child's about to be born. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. We gotta hook the battery up. We gotta hook the battery up, that guys. Awkward. Hook the battery up. <sighs> Y'all got me so nervous. I didn't even hook the battery up. The lights didn't even come on. The light. What do you think when the lights didn't come like, on? Oh boy. What have we? What have we done now? Yeah. Are we going to go as far as not tighten them or are we going to... Let's just try it without tightening them just in case. Alright, you know. keep playing with my nerves. Don't want to be overly confident. I always leave you a possibility when it doesn't crank that... Well, just take two. Take two. <laughs> like I said, nobody, nobody in here is a mechanic, so... We have power. We have power. Do we have ah, ah, ah. Yes. Cut it off. Try it again. Yeah. Every, now and, Every now and then it will crank on the first try. This Thursday. Time coming. Let's see if we do it another time just in case. Okay. One more time. Please, Lord, please. One more time. Don't miss one. Craziest part of all this. You know the craziest part? Don't try to give yourself some credit what you're about to do. What? 
What's it's that? a $23 part. From John Deere, y'all get that. They, John Deere doesn't make $23 part. That light right there is $175. $23 I part. didn't even think you could buy a John Deere coffee mug for $23. You can. But, hey, 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 the true test is, did I get any credit right there? For what? Finding that part. I told you, remember I called you and I said, I found a part. Y'all listen, any credit? You found where it was clicking, yeah. If y'all ever get credit out of this man, text me. Give them your number, then they will text you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's seven seven zero eight five three. Hey. <laughs> this tractor here, we've got the duels on it right now because we were last bush hogging with it. We didn't even bother putting the loader on it this winter time. We've just been. We've been wanting to work on it, but it's something we just hadn't gotten around to. We thought it was going to be a take the starter off, you know, a, at least a day's worth of work, if not more. And we just hadn't had a day to devote to it, so we're pretty pumped, but also a little, a little ticked, I guess. No, so, ain't uh, nobody on me in here ticked. This man happy about putting that little in that offering plate, you know? Thank you. Yeah, we're we're excited. Yeah. Woo! $23. You don't ever fix a John Deere tractor for $23. Only time you fix them for $23, you buy a box of matches. Two years of agony and pain was solved with this one right here. My Uncle Mac has always said you find a chicken farmer by an arm full of tools and a frown on his face. Got a point. But not today, sucker. She cranked. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's uh, that's pretty rewarding. I do feel kind of dumb though, that's two years of turning the switch for a $23 part. 